So I'm looking at this playback and it's like exactly 20 minutes, like 20 minutes and zero seconds. I get a little tingly feeling when math or when numbers just turn out to be round numbers, like especially so. Sometimes I'm just like, ooh, that's a nice clean number. Unlike those you irrational numbers. You know, it's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what else is I going to talk about? Fuck. You want to talk about fucking math? I mean, yeah, but math is for dude, not talking. In my experience. <laughs> in my experience. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, boy. You know what? I... I I think I failed to point out, but the flag is, is textures are different too. It, it's um it's white and blue, so we can either assume some combination of Finland or Israel or something. We know Finland, but no, I don't know, man. Or maybe it's like Europe. I don't know. I don't you know the whole flag of Europe, but I this game was made before the EU. Which, by the way, learning about the EU, I, I realized something, which is that I used to know, since as a kid, I would always get like an almanac every year of just general information about the world and everything, because that was the kind of guy I've always been. And like, I also get atlases. And like, um, I realized I n remembered a lot about what kind of currencies and exchange rates for each country, so now it's now it's mostly um, what the EU coins are. Which a friend of mine has given me as a souvenir because I was probably curious. I'm just like, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, euro. So I think this one was a five euro. Anyway, yeah, I knew what they were before euros. That was the point I was trying to get across. And you know, like German had Germany had marks. Um, you know, it was pesos, or was that Mexican currency? But yeah, yeah, I used to know. I used to know a lot of junk like that. Some of it stuck. Some of it has not stuck. Mainly when it's purely number based, it does it not stick? But like geographical information is more likely to stick. It just does. It just does. You just throw it on the map, and it stick. My name's Drumstick. Oh, sorry. Um, visions of the future. I give to you. Too fast for my stupid eye. Robbie the robot. Can you believe? Can you believe? Can you believe this shit right now? Believe me actually using the double barrel action shotgun? Look at that. Ring time! You know, does Sonic just absorb Ring Man from Mega Man 4? And Ringman's like, oh shit! Just asking for a friend. Which, that is me. I am my friend. If you're not your friend, see a psychologist. Also, just be annoying, or just out of insistence, I will mix up psychology and psychiatry. I will ask psychiatrists about psychologist questions, and psychologists about psychiatrist questions. Much like I will ask an MD about D.O.'s, and D.O.'s about M.D.'s. Because it's like, similar but different, what are you gonna do? Okay. The tithe, Remy, the tithe! The tithe, Remy, come on, the tithe! Give me the tithe! Uh. Okay. I see, I see what we got going on here. We got this um, nice backdrop of red cedar wood mm -hmm. but why is the cedar wood no one ever asks why huh well easy satellite dish is easy let's just deal with that now I guess I can also go down here yes I can actually so let's do that yeah Let's just go down, collect the Rolex smartwatch, Fitbit. Yeah, you know, a Fitbit, if you showed it to someone in the 60s, they'd, make, you'd probably, they'd probably think you were a secret agent, right? Not to mention laptops. Ugh. It occurs to me that I think Mario Kart is directly inspired by wacky races. No one has told me otherwise, so I'm going to assume it. 
You think people just do that? They just make up shit? And no one ever thinks to question on them because they would never ask them about it? And then the one time they do, they come up with this absolutely fanciful theory and they're just like, wait a minute. What? But the only reason you never heard him talk about it because you never would have thought to ask something so obscure and so you're like just dumbfounded. Be like, what the fuck, man? I was just like, hey, you asked. Didn't think anyone would ever ask me, so I never had to tell. The, the, the logical conclusion of don't ask, don't tell is that there's just things you never would have thought to ask. And it's just like, you know, out of left field, it's like, what? Blue, 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 blue doors. They are blue. Oh. Um. Explain to me how I get the S without hurting myself. Wait. Better explanation. That is, like, I get why there's a diamond behind that door, but I just realized the only... Did I get the thing I needed behind the red door already? Because the only thing behind there right now is the S letter. This is unusual. Is this key unnecessary? What the fuck? But yeah, uh... You see my issue here? You see why I can't get the spell spy? It's not because of that door, and it's not because I'm going to get hit by the fire no matter what I do. The problem is, I need that purple barrel, but how do I get the barrel over there without touching the P? That's the whole issue. Because I can jump over it just fine, but I have to actually push it behind the P because I can't just, like, pick it up and throw it somewhere. So, sorry, 100% spy run isn't happening f for that reason. I, I think that's just an oversight in the design. No one thought to test that. It's just, the game is working, so, yeah. But, just to let bygones be bygones, I'll get the S anyway. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get hit twice. Yeah. I, I, this S is a very shitty one all around. <laughs> I suppose. Either way, the level's not too bad otherwise, except for that. I mean, what the hell. Yep, no 10,000 point bonus. Now it just feels like a stale Y. Uh, maybe I was trying to spell Psy. You know, maybe this was the fucking... Uh, Opa Gundam style. Yeah, it was Gundam style, man. That's what it was. I told you, man, I told you! Told you about them stairs, bro. Bro. Mm, that's lovely. Starting me under this thing. Okay. There's plenty of ways to not get hit by it. Hey, take that, Mr. Cyborg Man. All right, pop quiz. Do you remember Cyborg's actual name? It's some. It's something Stone. Fuck. Um. <laughs> I just remembered his dad being Silas Stone, and now I don't remember the actual dude's name. Fuck! Fuck this. Fuck everything. My comic knowledge has been lacking. That's okay. Da, da, da. My theory as to why the DC movies are not doing too hot is because they're trying to rush to get on the same level as Marvel stuff. That's not a good idea. But I think I mentioned this. What they do 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 well is the original video animations. Like, really well. They could probably stick with that. The only issue with that is DC's falling into a strange trap where they keep trying to retell origin stories. And I'm tired of hearing them! <laughs> I want to hear about the new shit like they did with the Flashpoint Paradox that one time. You know? Or, um... Oh, yeah. That's something I'm going to recommend to my friends and you. Is, um... Was it the Long Halloween? I think I, I think I gotta go see that because it's like it's so good they actually bothered making it uh, two movies. So I think they did a really good job. And from what I know, it's not exact to the source material, but I, I get why that is a thing. That just has to do with certain things you couldn't possibly put in, so they just changed the plot to make it go with the relative theme. But yeah, there's something just something to tell you about to tell you about things that are cool in this day and age. I miss Batman Beyond, though. Like, a lot. Also, Spider-Man Unlimited. That kind of show. You know. It's all industrial and gothic and shit, yeah. 
I'm, I'm hoping... <sighs> is goth aesthetic still around? Like, industrial goth aesthetic? Because I've heard of, like, the... What you call the, um... Not the perky goth, but I'm talking, like... The neon goth, or it's just like... Like, pastel goth, right. But goth isn't about colors, anyway. It's about the Visigoths and the Ostrogoths. Duh. <laughs> I think not, you know. Remember when that was the height of comedy? It was just adding not to the end of your sentence? Because, you know, it was so funny when you want to say something, but you just use a mathematical, mathematical operator to rend it pointless. Uh, that's not going to work out for me. Plus the disc is even in there anyway. I, I, <laughs> this is very silly, but I, I just forgot about the disc in its entirety. Also very silly because it's right there. Come on. And now I'm thinking, wait a minute, what am I going back up here when the, the computer's right there? And I'm just like, oh yeah. The fuck. I'll remember in a second, though. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll actually just... I'm really doing that. Just not even giving a shit about... Oh, is the teleporter, teleporter gonna help? Yeah, now... <laughs> now I remember! Fuck! Look, it was staring right at you in the face. Alright? I don't mean to criticize, but uh, maybe you're not who you claim you are. Maybe you got a bit of imposter syndrome. Hmm? Yeah, I know. I'm not really me. I was somebody else the whole time. Incidentally, that's also me. Like, imposter syndrome. How do you be someone who isn't you? The answer is you know, a secret identity, actually. But it's like, still you. Like, no one owns it but you. There's a lot of things that could be said. You know, I think I'm looking forward to the Moon Knight miniseries. Mostly because I need something really good after that Loki miniseries. I'm just like, yeah, nothing's gonna be as awesome as that. <laughs> so I'll settle for like rendition of pulp heroes, as I do. That dog is not placed very good. <laughs> is asking for death, begging for it, crying for help. I've got to get the pee, and then um. We'll go get the Y, open up the door, get the ammunition, get the, uh, you like how I'm able to get max ammunition, by the way? Get the, uh, ow! Get, get the dynamite, and then leave. Thanks for joining! You know what this background reminds me of? Uh, another game thing I used to have. I mean, technical electronic, but it was called Perfection. I don't know if they still make those. And you just quickly try to put the shapes back in their respective holes before the thing just pops everything out. It was the ultimate bitch slap because the game is like, I'm going to flip the table at you if you lose. It's like, oh no! I can't have that happen! <laughs> Imagine if you, like, it's, it's like when you lose Jenga, except you're the cause of it. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, Jenga is, you're the cause of it. Perfection is, you didn't stop the cause of it. And in some other scenario, it might be hilarious. Like, imagine you get checkmate on someone. Then they're obligated to throw all their pieces at you. It's like, ouch, man. Why did you make physical damage a part of the board game rule set? Why? <laughs> you know. What's that other thing I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of something about brain cramming or something. I don't know. Ah, Zenwenya! That's the signal that we're going about to go to last level. Mm-hmm. Let us go there. Let us fight like men and ladies, and ladies and men who dress like ladies. For it is morphing time. Hmm. What will this castle be like? Actually, this one actually feels like a normal level, so... Yeah, just just have another level there. Also have another goddamn shark. Jesus, there was a lot of sharks in this episode. Really emphasizing the island part. And there's even two sharks. I don't even know why. Actually, there is no point having sharks in this game, because the water will kill you anyway. It's just adding shit to just add shit. <laughs> 
I love adding shit when it's unnecessary. Oh, um, so, oops. I have soft locked myself in an unintentional way. This won't happen again, but let that be a lesson to me. Anything can happen. This is why I always test my favorite things. Ugh, that was unfortunate. Didn't want to end like that. We're going to do it again. But yeah, I, I pushed it in such a way it got stuck within the wall. I wasn't even aware you could do that. Joke's on me. As per usual. Also, something I haven't been doing, which thankful, is jumping into the fan, because fans can hurt. I, I love it, because it's it feels like it's a background thing, but it actually hurts you. <laughs> uh, probably the funniest thing about this game, just getting hit by the fucking fan. <laughs> you know? The control room. It's got the salad dish. I like how the floppy disk is next to the blueprints. <laughs> Gonna insert, like, 90s technology into my 3D printer. Yeah. But no, it means I have to actually go to the exit to take the floppy disk so I can turn off the laser to get to the satellite dish before being allowed to leave. Which might mean that I don't do this because I'd rather just have the blueprints right there. It means I could get the blueprints without actually being able to finish the level first. But as a show of a ritual, or it's just like, no, I get the blueprint after I've gotten everything else. There's nothing that says you can't get it before you can actually exit the level. So, be my guest. And you'll get the 2,000 points anyway. Just as an FYI. Here's some pointless ammunition. Especially since my ammo's... Pre I'm pretty much fucking loaded, so I'm not even gonna bother. Now, could you get all that ammunition? Hmm, maybe. Hey, Mr. Thug, Mr. You. I like thugs and thug life and the Tony Hawk's underground and... Tony Hawk, what you doing? I don't know. What he doing? What he do? What'd he do? What'd he do? Anyway, now I can go to the teleporter to get the disc. The disc! Uh, good old three and a half inch. Oh, excuse me. Is it four and a half? Three and a half inch floppy, as opposed to the five and a quarter inch floppy, which was actually floppy. This thing isn't. Uh. I may have also mentioned this once, but I had this thing, maybe on Twitter or something, but I, I had this this zip drive disk thing. I think it's something they had side by side before, you know, USB drives are all the rage, and they still are! Nothing's gonna replace USB drives for me. Um, but yeah, it was like, like, imagine a floppy drive, except the thing is like, you know, it was a fucking bodybuilder, this floppy disk. And store like a few hundred megabytes. And I, I, uh, back when I was taking some computer programming classes, I stored some programs on it, Ma namely my Hangman game, which I put a lot of effort into, by the way. <laughs> More effort than should be necessary when it's really easy to do in terms of a Discord bot now. Which, by the way, I could probably manage a Discord bot just fine, or IRC a bot. I just don't care to do it. I think I just did it just to prove that I can, and yeah, I can. But then you just have to maintain it. Okay, that is it. And now it looks like we're having a scuba venture. If you know that DOS game. That was the uh, trade-off that um, basically, you know, for... Um, if you've heard of uh, Gamer's Edge or Softdisk, what would happen was, in order to make a deal to allow id to work on a game with Apogee, they had to make something for Softdisk first, and that game was Scuba Venture. Which is, you know, alright. Not the best thing. But the trade-off is, the thing they made with Apogee was Wolfenstein 3D. So they really got the short end of the stick. Sorry, Gamer's Edge. You have been had. Oh, also, there... What's this other submarine game I'm trying to remember? I don't know, but whatever it was that I'm trying to remember, I think I might actually do an LP on it. It's like, oh, I think it might be in search of Doctor something. But, yeah, it's like some submarine game. I think I'm going to have to try it. 
I'll have to do some research on it because I I found there's like secret levels. I'm just like, yeah, let me keep track of that. Anyway, that's it for Secret Agent Mission 2. I'll just run Secret Agent Mission 3 real quick while I'm still recording over TNT Evolution stuff. That's where I'm at right now. All right, see you around.